In this video, we'll go over interactive science applications to use in the classroom for increasing student engagement, interest, and understanding in science topics. You'll learn about how to use brain pop, cells alive, FET simulations, and Trivia Plaza, which has simulations, quizzes, interactive models, and videos to help students tackle challenging science topics. So first, we'll start off with brain pop. From the home screen, go to the science section. Then from here, choose what unit you want to go to. So under the cellular life and genetics unit, as you can see, there's many topics. So choose one of the topics. And then when you choose the topic, it has a video associated with that topic. And you can either just watch the video or do many of these other functions, such as the quiz and the challenge, make a map, or related reading. So this is what the quiz and the challenge looks like. You can either review or do a graded quiz, make a a map function looks like this. And in the make a map function, you can watch a movie and write down notes about oh, that concept. Time, Moby. How are cells different? From Stephen. Well, for starters, there are two basic types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Okay, so if I wanted to make note of this, all I do is take a blank note, drag it down, and then I'll do another note for eukaryotic. And you can change the color and we'll keep watching. Prokaryotic cells don't have any membrane around their nuclear material. And so I want to add another note, make note of this. And so if you want to link it to this topic, all you do is drag the arrow down to the box. And now you've linked that topic. And you can do the same thing for eukaryotic. For instance, so this is how we can make a map associated with the movie. Now if we go back, another thing to note is related reading. And in the related reading, you have an in-depth summary of some of the topics that you went over, some graph stats and numbers associated with that topic, some fun facts, and a comment. So that's a good resource to go to for each of the videos. The activities for this video has defining these terms. So you can actually write within it um, a definition associated with each of these things that we saw in the video and then print it out when you're done. Okay, so now I'll show you Cells Alive. This is a really cool interactive site that contains interactive models, games, and other activities associated with cellular biology. So let's go to the interactive cell models first. We'll go to bacteria, press start the animation, and now you can look at all the different organelles and it will point to them. And if you press on one, it tells you what it is. You return to cell diagram. So that's a really good tool to use. Now, if we go back, we can also look at these other things. For instance, the watch bacteria swim and tumble. So in this video, it shows us how flagellated rod bacteria do. Now, if we go to this one, we'll see them divide and multiply. And then we can also look at videos in the bacteria collection, or let's go back home. Here's a good classroom asset. It has study aids, videos, quizzes, and PowerPoints. So let's go to study aids. And this has some worksheets that you can um, press on and then print out for students. So I've already opened one the mitosis phase worksheet, and these are just some good worksheets that you can use as study aids for free. Now we'll go back. So if we go up to explore, we can go down to cell cams. And this is a really cool tool that you can use where you can actually see frame by frame different cells as they multiply. For instance, let's go to the bacteria cam. And this is real time bacteria dividing. For instance, right now it's 1242 when I'm filming this video, and the first frame of the video started at 12 p.m. So now we can see how it got from this to this by adding minutes. So at 12.01 p.m. it looked like this, and then we keep pressing, and we watch as the cells divide. You can also add more minutes, for instance, 20 or 5 minutes, and it shows you division in real time. And then after you watch this, you can take a microbe quiz, questions about bacteria, parasites, and viruses. Name the period of rapid growth in a bacterial culture when the cells divide every few minutes. And that would be log phase. And then you can go through the quiz and it will tell you your score as you go. And now we go back to the home page. 
In study, there's worksheet puzzles, quizzes, PowerPoints, and then in explore, you look at cell models, puzzles, um, imagery. So this is a really good tool to navigate the site and just mess around and see all the different interactive models and games that they have associated with cellular biology. Okay, the next simulation site that I want to talk about is FET Interactive Simulation. So if you're using a Chromebook or a Mac computer, the best bet for having simulations that actually work is using the HTML5 simulation. So if you press on that, anything with this logo means it's an HTML5. Because some of the other ones, for instance, if I go to the biology page, JavaScript sometimes doesn't work with the Chromebooks, and Flash Player is the same way, so it kind of depends. You can mess around and see if they work, but the best bet is just to stick with the HTML5. So let's do one of its activities and see what happens. For instance, I want to do molecular shapes. We'll play it, and then let's do real molecules. And so you can choose the molecule, and it will show you the shape of the molecule. So let's look at methane. This is what methane looks like. And you can look at the electron geometry, which is tetrahedral molecular, which is also tetrahedral in this case. And then move the molecule around as it will. So this is a really good tool for understanding molecular shapes and planes. And it tells you electron geometry, molecular geometry, so more of ochem and beyond type information. But it's a really good intro to that. Now if we go back, there's also a whole slew of different simulations in a variety of categories. The last site I want to show you is Trivia Plaza, and this site contains many quizzes associated with different subjects, so let's go to science. From here you can choose the general science overall science quiz or one by subject. For instance, let's do science and definitions. Press play, and then you take the quiz And then when the quiz is over, it shows you the results, the average score of all the people that have taken the quiz, and then your score. And then you can share it or press down. And that's how Trivia Plaza works. So overall, we've looked at BrainPop, Cells Alive has interactive models for cellular biology, FET simulations, which contains simulations in a broad array of science topics, and Trivia Plaza, which contains science quizzes for various subjects.